Well, I think CG is so important because CG early on recognized that many of the most important problems today are what you might think about as horizontal problems. They cross borders, whether that's geopolitical borders or institutional borders and so on. And I think CG sees as a, as a focus on how can we uh, address these important issues in ways that bring together uh, in ways that are not uh, constrained by a kind of official boundaries, official borders, but rather cut across and embrace in inclusive ways and have structured conversations about some of the world's most important problems in ways that reflect uh, a new uh, horizontally connected 21st century rather than a vertically structured 19th and 20th century that I think was seen as the way forward uh, for uh, at least a, a couple of centuries. And I think CG recognized that we're going to need new ways of thinking about policies, new ways of structuring institutions and so on to capture that horizontal connectedness that I think we increasingly recognize is so important uh, in the 21st century. Keep going, because <laughs> we're no longer, the Institute of Ideas is 12, and after 12 years or 10 years, you can no longer say you're the new baby on the block. You're no longer learning. You're no longer um, original in terms of you have something to compare yourself to. Um, so keep going. And I think the interesting thing for CJ, or the thing that I've been quite impressed by, is its position in the community. It's not just talking to the elite, although it is obviously policy orientated, but you've got some very interesting, thriving universities here and quite an engaged community. And I think that could be a very fruitful um, place to be working in. Congratulations to CG. I think um, I, I remember being here at one of the annual CG conferences early on in the process and being uh, very impressed with how far it had come in a short period. That was probably after five years. Uh, now after 10 years, I'm even more impressed. And uh, I think it, what CG has done very well is have focus. And I give credit to uh, John English, Tom Burns, and Jim Balsilli in this, that they have a clear vision of what CG should be doing. It's focused on international, it looks for the best people, and it's focused on scholarly activity as well. Of course, not to the exclusion of trying to be effective, connecting and branching into uh, decision making, but really basing it on good scholarship. And I think that's really crucial. So congratulations to CG. In 10 years, CG has established itself on the international stage and as, as a result, put Canada on the international stage on a, a whole range of issues of great importance. And I have to say, as somebody who lives very much in an international online community, I feel really proud and excited that we have such high quality thinking that we can showcase uh, as, as a homegrown contribution to so many important international conversations. I've heard a lot about CG before. CG sponsors a, a round table on the uh, G20 with Brookings, one of the uh, institutes in Washington, D.C., where I work. And I've had occasion to attend that. I've heard a lot about CG. But this is the first time that I've had an opportunity to be here and uh, get to know better some of the people I've met from CG and to see your absolutely gorgeous facility. So uh, I'm really delighted to have been included and uh, very pleased to have been here. And I wish CG all the best on its 10th birthday. I think I would like to congratulate CG uh, uh, upon 10 years, 10 years of anniversary, uh, 10 years of uh, existence is, is a great thing and they've crowned it all in the best way. There could, not be, there could not be any better way of celebrating other than bringing people with different ideas, different contexts to talk about this. I'm sure we've all uh, learned about this, we've known more about why uh, uh, CG exists, what it does, and we are going to build strong partnerships. So congratulations, and uh, I would like to thank you uh, and your director for the opportunity offered to me. It's my first time and my very first uh, exciting time to come to Canada. I've met great people, met, discussed great ideas with great people. So it's, it's really good and exciting for me. Well, I think first of all, uh, CG, was was created and, and funded by somebody who had a vision that there was work that needed to be done that to make our country a better place and to contribute to thinking in the world there needed to be serious work on the role of governance how to govern and you know I do a lot of work on democracy promotion in countries countries in the former Soviet Union other countries 
And the question of governance is really important. It's at the heart of everything. How can we uh, use our government institutions and create institutions and create a, a political culture that will enable us to achieve our goals together as a society? And when you're in countries that don't have any of that, you come to understand how important it is. So I think CG has identified a really important area of, of inquiry. I think it's wonderful that uh, Jim Balsley had the vision to, to make it possible. And 10 years later, uh, it's still young, but it's no, no more sort of new kid on the block, let's wait and see how it happens. I think it has clearly uh, won the confidence uh, and you can see this in terms of the quality of the people who are prepared to come uh, and be engaged here. It's won the confidence of, uh, of the communities that care about these issues, the public policy community, uh, to be seen as a significant and major player. And I look forward to, I mean, I hope I will live long enough to see the 20th, the 30th anniversary and to uh, be able to, you know, to say, gee, it was our, the 10th anniversary and they were only just getting started.